The most prolific rappers, the most amazing rappers, have certain tenets and characteristics. One, they're engaging. One, they have a personality. Secondly, the use of metaphor and analogy. And I'm going to play that clip again. So this is like, and I am like, and this, this is rapping out Drake. You know, and he's like, he, you know, he has these lines. He doesn't even say the like. He just say, faded off the brown. You know, so he he doesn't even make the connections. He creates a context where he says an idea and a correlated term, and he says, okay, audience, you figure out the connection. But it's done through analogy. In instruction for participation, you have to prepare for creating analogy and instruction, meaning you have to use culturally relevant analogies. For example. In Marie Curie in the Bronx, when we talk about science, I remember the first time I taught uh, uh, about equilibrium. I thought long and hard. And at the time, it was when these rappers were wearing these huge chains, right? I mean, that, that's a whole other issue. You know. I, I applaud, applaud hip hop's tenets, and I also am like, dude, that's a big chain. But, um, but, but in our discussion about equilibrium, we had the chains. We, we, we had pictures of rappers with their chains on and their medallions. And then we talked about the weight of each piece. And if you move the piece about a different place, then the, the, the fulcrum changes. And what effect does that have on the entire system? Just because I talked about a rapper, same lesson one day before, and the next day, the questions were coming out. Not revolving around the rapper, revolving around the science. By virtue of using the rapper as an analogy for explaining the context. When we taught, and I taught about, and we taught about, about sum of all forces acting on an object at zero, I thought along the heart and said, hey, we have a park across the street. So we go to the park where you hang out across the street to use that as part of the instruction. You know why? Because MCs do that all the time. What other thing do rappers do that's very significant? They talk about where they're from. And they talk about where the other person's from. So every rapper, if you listen to anybody's album, you know where they're from. I'm from California, I live on this block of the street, and I did X, Y, and Z there, right? right? That is also a key piece of instruction. You teach from where you know, and also where they know. If I give an example in science class and I say, Tom and Jimmy were sledding down the street, <laughs> right? <laughs> or oh, I say, John and Jose were on 173rd, you know that big hill? <laughs> right, on 173rd? And then he slipped and he fell and kept going. <laughs> Did he really? I don't know, that's what he told me, you're gonna have to ask him later, <laughs> right? <laughs> but but, but by, by virtue of immersing the, 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 the instruction and where they're from, taking keys from hip hop and what rappers do, I'm better served as an instructor. Thank you.